So Steve, there's a lot of buzz out there about uh, an imminent Facebook IPO. What, what's going on out there? Uh, well, where it is, a filing could come as soon as this week. Now, what that means is they'll file documents with the SEC declaring their intent to go public. Uh, there will be a letter from the CEO, from the management team. What that doesn't mean is that they're going to go public this week. You can't buy Facebook shares on Friday if they file an S1 on Wednesday. What happens after the S1 is filed is the SEC and regulators will review what Facebook is offering. Then there's negotiations in terms of which exchange they'll list on, which ticker they'll list under. Then after a period of usually three to six months at a minimum, the company will go public and they'll go on their roadshow and pitch the offering to investors. Uh, very few companies get out in less than, say, three or four months. So we have a little bit of a runway before we actually see and Facebook how big, shares And how big is this uh, Facebook uh, IPO going to be? Well, the word is that you know it could be anywhere at a valuation from $75 billion to $100 billion. Facebook shares have traded on private markets. There have been private deals, private investments in the company that have given the company valuations. It remains to be seen what the public market will value it at. But it's a safe bet to say it's going to be one of the biggest IPOs uh, that we've seen across the market and certainly if one of the biggest if not the biggest in the technology space and so what does this what does this mean for the market should we be bullish because Facebook is planning to come public well getting a big deal like this price is always a good sign it means the market's healthy and ready to receive an offering of this size it's also hard to extract too much broad-based knowledge from a deal like this which is a hugely popular company one that a lot of people know about it let's face it they have hundreds of millions of members so even if just those members want to buy shares, that's enormous demand for a stock like this. So it's hard to extrapolate that this is a bullish signal for the market in general, but there's a lot of folks with a vested interest in getting a deal like this done, including their underwriters. Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are talked about as the most likely to be leading this offering. It was a rough to end to 2011 for investment banking companies. They certainly want to get a deal like this out. They want to get it into the market and they want it to do well. What about uh, social media as a sector to be invested in? Is it a good sector for investors? It's hard to say that it's a sector that is one way or the other across the board. Uh, we've seen a number of high profile social media offerings over the last year. Uh, just a few examples are Groupon, Zynga, Pandora, and LinkedIn. Only two of those four, LinkedIn and Zynga, are trading above their offering price. The other two are trading below. So to say that social media companies are a home run on the public market. A little early for that, but we'll see what happens with Facebook.